We think that the likelihood of a low-risk prostate cancer causing a man harm is relatively low. And therefore, what we aim to do with active surveillance is to monitor the disease very closely. So if there are signs of change or progression, we pick it up at an early stage. But we miss out on the potential side effects from either surgery or radiotherapy. An ideal man for active surveillance is a man with low risk disease and someone who is committed, compliant and amenable to having periodic truss biopsies to reevaluate the state of disease within a man's prostate. Surgery can be performed in a variety of different ways. It used to be done in an open fashion and in many centres is still done in an open way. That involves a single incision in the middle of the tummy. It can also be done in a variety of different minimally invasive ways. That includes keyhole surgery or laparoscopic surgery or alternatively robotic assisted keyhole surgery. Both of these approaches have an advantage over open surgery in that the risk of blood loss is less, the risk of needing a blood transfusion is less, your time in hospital, certainly within Australia, is less and your recovery is quicker. That's the main advantage to these minimally invasive options. And more and more men today are electing to have minimally invasive surgery so they can get about their normal routine and get back to their normal life as soon as possible.